Vision have come. The voice have come of life. And your life is going to be transformed. It's an amazing thing. Look. Saul so went to take care of, of uh, donkeys. But the Spirit of God was in Samuel. And the man of God Samuel told Saul, Come here. You are looking for donkeys. But from now on, God has found you and located you. The Spirit of God has located you and He will touch you. You will be transformed. You will be a different person. You will prophesy. Hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah. Say, I will be a different person. Say, I will be a different person. The Spirit of God touch you. You will be a different person. Go ahead and say, burdens be broken, bondages be broken. Do you want God to answer your questions like this? Therefore, just be free, open your hearts. Say to God, God touch my heart today. Be, 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 have zeal for the Lord and be jealous for the Lord. What, what can man do to you? People don't pay your rent. They don't pay your bills. Nobody helps you except the Spirit of God. Therefore say, Holy Spirit, come to my life now. Come on my ministry. Come on my life. Come on my marriage. Come on my mind and my consciousness. Bondages be broken. Curse be broken. Break in the name of Jesus. Right now, we don't want to pick somebody out of the crowd and tell you something bad about you. The, the bad things that you do. We don't want to say you have some sort of bad pride and bitterness in your heart. What, what people like to hear us to say is that you have been anointed, you have been set free. 
But if you get anointed with your bitterness and with your pride, it's become a problem. There are four people in this place. If you come out by yourself, good. But if you don't come out, don't worry. I will pray for you where you are. Your heart has a lot of bitterness and pride. Everybody take your hands and put it on your chest. I remove it now in the name of Jesus. Out in Jesus' name. I remove it now in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Fall in the name of Jesus. You who stop us praying. You who stop us reading the word. You who stop us to work from without. In the name of Jesus. I remove it now in Jesus' name. I set you free in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. You are free. You are free. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Bitterness and pride doesn't work in your life. Even if someone wronged you truly, just let it go. Forgive. Forgive that. Let go of that bitterness. Let it go. From now on, enter a covenant. Say, from now on, my heart will be filled by the forgiveness of God. My heart will be filled with forgiveness, forgiveness of God. I have to I have to use a different style, different system. One time we were invited to a conference. And because I know my people. And because our character is all very similar. If you prophesy to a, to a woman who's married and you tell her, oh, you don't obey your husband. And, or if I say to the husband, oh, you don't honor your wife. Everybody in the crowd, they say, oh, wow, that, that, those people, those people, wow. This woman is a minister? This person is a minister? Wow, thank you, Jesus. Instead of us giving God the glory, we start to think bad about those people. Chains be broken. Bondages be broken. Yoke be broken. There, there is a woman here in this place. You have a lot of bitterness toward your husband. Don't worry, right? I'm removing this bitterness right now. Bondages be broken, yoke be broken. When, when, when you go out of the house, you love him so much. But when you meet with him, negative. You have very you you receive negative words. All the women, all the ladies in the house, touch your chest. Put your hands on your chest. All the women, the ladies in the house, take your hand and put it on your chest. From now on, I will love and honor my husband. Those of you who are married, I will have this kind of heart. I will receive my husband so well. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. I break this bondage. I break this yoke. And I know that you you feel bad afterward. You regret that you said these bad words to your husband. Because the reason why you feel like that is because you are a person of God. When you are a person of God, you can't just say whatever you feel like. Therefore, don't worry. If you come out by yourself for prayer, I pray for you will receive. But if you don't come out, I'm you still gonna pray for you. You, you are, are free. free. You are free. In the name That's what's ikhlaqi. Skarut is severed, naganask. This yoke be broken. This yoke be broken. Skarut is severed. This bondage be broken. Merga mi severed. Amen. Curse be broken. Skarut is severed, balu. Yoke be broken. After CJ Fan Ministry, na Zoom, na Facebook, kumara ayu ekhumzalo testimonies. 
Please go and see the testimonies that are in the CJ Fund ministry. A lot of people have broken through. Our people are breaking through. Publicly, they have they have started to publicly talk about their testimonies. Say bondage be broken. Yoke be broken. Bed waiting. There is someone here. You have a problem of bed waiting. You you pee in in the bed. This is a disgraceful thing. Yes. But from today, it will be removed in Jesus' name. Yoke be broken. Bondage be broken. In this place, it doesn't work. Oh, I am small, I am big, I have reputation. This is not the way it works. We don't pee by ourselves in the bed. It's the demon. The devil. There is a different pressure that comes on us. But now I'm lifting it away. In the name of Jesus. You are free. Not a word. You are free. You are free. Lubuhum tar adali hum le kazaro bhi le ushto hamate. People of God, if you prepare your hearts, I, as a man of God, I am going to be more free to speak about your situation and set you free. Right? Open your hearts. Today, I would I would desire to touch each and every one of you, all of you. I want to touch your hearts. Adar kum you will be healed. Your life will be healed. Your, your lifestyle will be healed. From today on, your marriage will sweeten. You, a lot of you, you have said, if I knew marriage was like this, I would have not been. I would have not got married. No, no. No, this is the work of the devil. But marriage is so sweet. It is a covenant that God has set in order. Please raise your hands. Stretch your hands up to heaven. Say, Lord, touch me today. From today, shall be the last day. Let your spirit reign on me. Let your spirit go on me right now, back and forth on my life. Bondages be broken. Yoke be broken. Say, Lord, from this day, change me. Say, Lord, transform my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, amen.